Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Spare to Dowsey. I'm Dowsey LeMay. Uh, I just wanted to jump on here while, um, while I have the time and make a video. Uh, I live here in New England, in New Hampshire specifically on the seacoast, and I will say we're in our third week of our stay-at-home quarantine. Lucky enough, I have uh, been able to work from home as well as my wife, but unfortunately we don't have our daycare, and that requires us to be both a full-time employee and a full-time parent at the same time, and it's not easy. It, uh, no one should have to be both of those at the same time. And I know other people who have lost their livelihood, you know, the no income, their jobs, or who are sick, or perhaps going through the same circumstances as us, but especially those who are doing some financial hardships. Obviously, those bring its own set of challenges and circumstances and concerns. And we're all going through it. It's not easy, and I don't think it was meant to be easy. As many of my other videos I have pointed out, this is a very trying time, one that isn't about doing, it's about being. And so with that being said, I know I've spoken to a lot of people out there and um, understanding what I'm going through, my own experience, and maybe what you're going through, that it's okay to admit that we're having a difficult time. It's okay to verbally express that out to the people that you love, that you're around, uh, that you feel like a failure, that you can't be, uh, you can't do it all, that you're struggling. It's okay to admit those hardships. The reason why is because if you don't admit that, if you don't allow it to be expressed and you don't honor those emotions and you sit there holding on to the feeling of, of all these things and you're trying to put on a good show, you're trying to put on a good face saying that I can do it all. I can accomplish this and I can't show anybody how weak I am. And you're just going to hold on to this chaotic dissonance, energetic frequency that is just going to vibrate in your, in your field. And it's going to cause you a, a lot of havoc for you down the road. And most likely it will be something that will explode in the emotional trigger and outpouring that isn't going to look pretty. And so do yourself a favor as you're going through this. Admit what you are feeling. Admit to the fact that it is hard. Validate those emotions. But don't just sit in it, right? Don't sit in that energy and, and right after you, you know, right after you feel it in a minute. Try not to sit and sulk in that energy, right? It's okay to admit it and then give yourself some forgiveness. Say that you're trying the best that you are you can. And 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 quite frankly, no one should be being completely perfect through this because you're you're not supposed to be that. This is supposed to be a dark night of the soul type of moment. I did a video recently on the dark side of the soul. If you haven't seen that, highly recommend that you watch that because this is what this event is actually causing us to do. It's like a dark dark night of the soul moment where the external world is removed from you and you are left with all this emotional things attached to the things outside of you, which no longer can distract you and you have to force to deal with them. So um, if you're having a tough time, you know, give yourself a hot minute, give yourself a minute to time out and say, I need to just breathe. I need to meditate. I need to pause this energetic feeling that I'm, I'm having and honor those emotions and then just ground and center yourself, right? Ground, connect with your breath, center yourself a little bit, and then just visualize something that, or visualize what it would feel uh, what you want to feel like, right? Imagine that feeling. Recall a memory of that, that felt like really joyful for you, that felt really peaceful and loving to you. Sit in that energy for a little bit. Be, let that fill you emotionally, mentally, physically, energetically, and then move off of that energy. If you're going through your day through that stress and that anger and the frustration, all that energy you're holding on to, you're just creating the next moment in that, in that energy. Putting a pause on it, feeling what you want to feel, you know, grounding, center yourself, then feeling what you want to feel, and then making, taking action out of that will lead to better outcomes that will match that, that energetic frequency and help you feel a little bit more peaceful and joyful as you're going along through your day. So uh, I hope that helps you. I hope you understand that um, you know, it's okay to say that you're having a difficult time and that we're all doing that. And, um, but it's best for you, for your best and your highest good to validate some of those emotions, validate what you're having, what you're feeling, but don't sit in it. You know, don't sulk in it. You know, give yourself the reprieve, forgiveness, and then um, you know, give yourself a hot minute if you're having a difficult time. And lastly, I would say, you know, this is really bringing us a, a change to our world. So focus on the things that this is causing you um, to be, you know, 
you know, this is causing a disruption. So focus or be grateful for the things that you have going right in your life. What are, what are the things that you have during your day that you can be grateful for to help you keep your vibration up, to help you keep you relatively positive versus sulking into these other areas, you know? Are you grateful for that you have the ability to stay home and you'll be able to walk out in nature? Uh, that you have the freedom to go for the walk out of nature, that you have the love and the abundance to be able to make dinner and to, and to spend time with your family, you know, those kind of things. So um, I, I think that would be really useful. If you haven't seen my other videos, I highly recommend The Dark Night of the Soul, 10 Ways to Raise Your Vibration, and just this coronavirus update stuff. I think that will help you through this time period. If you guys have any questions, by all means, reach out to me. Let me know how you're doing, if any of this helps you. And I love you, and we'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.